They paid him millions not to pitch. They paid millions more in trading for his replacement. They didn't allow him to interfere with their defense of their World Series championship. And, still, the Dodgers can't free themselves of Trevor Bauer. The banished pitcher returned to the public sphere Tuesday afternoon in a backward cap and shoulder length hair, in a 36 second video that he uploaded to his once ubiquitous social media accounts, Bauer casually addressed the sexual assault allegations that led to a paid administrative leave now entering its fourth month, he vaguely promised to provide baseball content in the coming weeks, just as he was receding from public consciousness. Just as the Dodgers were about to start their postseason, which was almost certainly the point, the attention-deprived attention seeker was demanding attention. How narcissistic! How selfish! How Trevor Bauer! The hypocrisy was astounding. When Bauer agreed last month to extend his paid administrative leave through the playoffs, his agents released a statement in which they said he did so in a measure of good faith and in an effort to minimize any distraction to the Dodgers organization and his teammates. Yet, here he was creating a sideshow as the team was taking the field for its final workout before Wednesday's winner-take-all wildcard game against the St. Louis Cardinals. Suddenly, the Dodgers weren't the winners of 106 games. They weren't the defending World Series champions. They were the fools who signed a known loose cannon, against whom the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office is still considering criminal charges. The Dodgers have skillfully avoided discussing Bauer since his early summer banishment, but seething uniformed and non-uniformed personnel alike unleashed waves of expletives Tuesday afternoon when asked about Bauer's video. Are you, kidding, me, 